Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today. I have not done one of these videos in a while. It is always one of my favorites to film because I, got, I get to talk to you guys about empties. So why would you want to see a bag of my trash? Why? <laughs> it's because once I use up a whole product of cleaning supplies or beauty or kid stuff or whatever, I use up a whole package worth. I have a really strong opinion one way or the other if I like it. I love watching other people do empty videos. Some of my favorite products I have found due to empty videos. So if you guys want to stick around and watch, let's go ahead and get started. Now this is, <laughs> I have a huge bag here because like I said, I have not done it in a while. Um, and this is anything from cleaning, household, um, baby stuff, uh, beauty, anything. Anything else besides food that we've gone through, I tried to remember to put the empty package in this bag. So I'm going to pull it out one by one and then we're going to talk about it. The first thing that's sticking out on top here trash bag. Okay, I know this isn't very exciting. I've talked to you guys about lots of trash bags in these empty videos, and that's because we live in an apartment. We have to take our trash, put it in our car, haul it across the complex, and then throw it away. So we are very picky. I didn't, when we had a house and we just threw it right in the trash, um, to the trash can. I didn't have to worry about if it leaked too much or whatever. Now, if it leaks, it's in my car. <laughs> so I have to be super picky about it. I've tried lots of different ones. These are our new favorite. These are the Sam's Choice or the Members Mark. Yeah, Members Mark Power Flex 200 trash bag box. I think these are like 11 or $12, I believe, at Sam's. Great deal. If you go to the grocery store, you're going to pay way more than that for this many trash bags. Um, there are ones that are a little bit better. I'll say like the hefty, like the super expensive hefty ones are a little better. These are a very close second and I'm willing to um, sacrifice the <laughs> a little bit of a lesser performance for the price savings. So what we do, what I've been doing is if I have something extremely leaky or messy, I will just double bag that in another like Walmart bag, like a shopping bag or in another trash bag. And so in the long run, we're saving money by getting this huge bag. I've already repurposed uh, re another box. This has lasted, oh man, uh, 200 last us several months. It lasts us a while. So I would definitely recommend those. I probably am going to switch exclusively to only buying those unless I find a great, great sale on others. Next up, we used up one of these LA, what is it called? LA's Totally Awesome Fabric Refresher. This is the Febreze from Dollar Tree. And I bought, I bought this for years. I really, really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the um, packaging, like this spray thing is annoying. It, it gets hung up and it leaks all over your hands when you're trying to spray it. Um, I don't know what it is about this. So what I do now is I buy it and I put it in another spray bottle, like a cheaper, um, just regular like water bottle that sprays or like in a, if I have a Febreze, I used to keep an empty Febreze bottle and then put this in there. It works just as good. I think or almost just as good as Febreze, but this thing is annoying. It seriously leaks all over your hands. So if you buy this, it's a great savings. This is only a dollar and Febreze is like four or five dollars. This is a great savings, but put it in another spray bottle. You'll thank me. I promise. <laughs> Next up, Tide Pods. This is the 4-in-1 Downy Pods. Um, my kids have very sensitive skin, and so I can't use this on their clothes, especially Nate. Um, but I got this on a good deal, deal at CVS, I believe. Either CVS or uh, Dollar General. They usually have good sales on laundry stuff, and I love these. The, the, this uh, brand, this scent, that's the word, this scent is April Fresh, and it smells so good. I love these. I love the Tide Pods for convenience and stuff, but I only buy them if they're on sale. Actually, Kroger sometimes has them on sale too. I just look out for the sales, and I use them mainly on David and I's sheets. So that's why I like to do, or sometimes our clothes too, but I would definitely repurchase those on a sale. Okay. Um, I was going to show you this along with the other thing that's similar, but I can't find it. So I have switched to buying our Zyrtec at Sam's. Um, I buy the kids one, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. David also takes Zyrtec daily, and I was buying it from the Dollar Tree because it's like 14 pills for a dollar. 
and I did the math and this is cheaper to buy it from Sam. So it's 400 tablets and this is like, I don't even remember. I would say, but I don't remember like 10 to $15. I want to say something like that, maybe a little bit more. Anyway, I did the math and this comes out cheaper than buying at Dollar Tree and it comes in two big containers and we won't have to buy Zyrtec for like over a year because he only takes it once a day. But 400 tablets at Sam's. If you have a Sam's, definitely get your Zyrtec there. If you don't have a Sam's, the uh, Dollar Tree version is a good deal too. I just went through this. I'm so sad it's over. It is the Kitchen Lemon Bath and Body Works Foaming Hand Soap. I love this stuff so much. Uh, the notes on it are zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. This is such a great scent for the kitchen. It gets like any garlic or onion or whatever you're doing with your hands, it gets that smell off and it smells just nice and fresh and clean. I love the foaming hand soaps. A little tip with these bottles if you don't know, when you get a foaming hand soap empty, you can fill it up a little bit of the way with um, dish soap and then fill the rest up with water and repur you know, just reuse that. Um, but I'm very sad. This is my favorite and I don't have any more. <laughs> I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to watch for a good sale, but this kitchen lemon from Bath and Body Works is such a great soap for the kitchen. Okay, you guys see this. These are the dish tabs from um, Aldi. And th these ones, uh, I believe this is the one I really, really like. There is a new version um, that Aldi carries. It's supposed to be more of like the higher end. I believe this is not that though. Um, but there, that's the only one I can find right now in Aldi. It's like this new, uh, you get less than 20. You get like 14 or 15, I think. And I just don't like it as much as the, the classic Radiance dish tabs from Aldi. This is what I used to buy all the time. And I'm not happy with the choice of the other ones. I just don't feel like they do any better and you get less in the package. I can't find those at my Aldi anymore. So what I've done is I've started buying dish tabs also from Sam's. It's a better price and um, I get a bunch of them at once. But if Aldi ever brings back those, I will probably go back to those because I think they work better. Okay, every time I show this, it's very controversial. <laughs> Nobody get offended or upset if you don't agree with this. These, this is the toilet cleaning. Um, <laughs> you know your uh, mom when you say this might be offensive and it's like a toilet brush. Um, <laughs> nothing real exciting. <laughs> um, this is the toilet wand from Clorox. Oh my gosh, I love these things. I know they're not like the most cost effective way to clean your toilet. But we have very small bathrooms and every time I've ever had a, a cleaning, like a toilet brush, it gets so gross, it gets knocked over, it's bumping into my kids stuff and then I feel like, ew, there's a toilet brush, it's, you know. We've even had the stands, there's just not a good place to put it, then I try to put it in the cabinet. It's just a hot mess when we have, maybe if we have a bigger bathroom, it'd be better. But these have changed our life because you throw away the part that touches the toilet after each use. Now I usually wash uh, clean both of my toilets with only one of the um, little pads or whatever. Um, but I love these. I love these. And then you have a little, it, this is the refill, but it comes with a wand and a little case. So I can keep the case in my bathroom, but there's nothing gross on it. And if it gets knocked over, it's no big deal. It's just a wand and some of the refills. So I love these. I got the refill pack. I will continue to purchase these. And this refill pack is not very expensive. It's like four or five dollars for 10. 10 will clean my toilets for like 10 weeks. So I don't think that's a bad solution to get the gross toilet brush out. If you like your toilet brush, totally keep it. I'm not telling you not to. This is just what works for us. Um, we also tried some new toilet paper. Don't y'all love watching these? videos and getting our opinion on all these toilet things. Uh, this is a great value, Ultra Strong, and it's comparable to Charmin, um, the Charmin Ultra Strong. This is okay. I know people really like Charmin. I just don't like it. I feel like it's too linty or something. I don't like the way it feels. This does feel just like Charmin because I don't like Charmin. I didn't really like that a whole lot. We like the thinner paper, the thinner paper and not that thick linty kind. But if you like Charmin, the great value is a good deal. We've also gone through one of these 
Method All Purpose Cleaners, and this is the Honeycrisp Apple one. I get all of my cleaning supplies right now from, or most of them, from Grove Collaborative. If you've never tried them, I'll leave my link down below. You can get like a free five piece Mrs. Meyer set with a $20 purchase. It's a great deal because you, um, <clears throat> that's $20 is way less than it would cost to get these products. Get the Mrs. Meyer's ones. I love the Mrs. Meyer ones. They're amazing. But this is Method, and they also sell it over there. So you could buy some Method products and get the Mrs. Meyer's free. And um, so Grove is like a, uh, it's not really a subscription because you can customize like when you want stuff um, or whatever, and you can like cancel at any time or whatever. Um, but I really like it. They have the all of the more like, environmentally friendly um, products for a lot less than like Target or anywhere else. But this one is the Method All Purpose and this is my favorite. This, um, I like all the scents. Right now I'm using the Sea Salt and Lime and I love that one. I would definitely recommend that one. This is the Honey Crisp Apple. It was okay. I basically leave a cleaner out on my counter at all times. I'm always wiping stuff down. I hate a sticky countertop. So we go through a lot of cleaner and I really like this one. Um, the kids went through another bubble bath. This is the one that we have to use. It is dye-in fragrance free. Nate has very sensitive skin. He has to have dye-in fragrance free products. And for the longest, that meant he just did not get a bubble bath. And then I found out that this Mr. Bubbles is dye-in fragrance free. It does not hurt his skin at all. So we have switched exclusively to this bubble bath and it works just as good as the regular Mr. Bubble and it is awesome. Um... I think Lucy is the one I ended up using this on. This is the Moroccan Infusion. I may have used it too. We share a lot of stuff, me and Lucy, because we have similar hair type. And the kid stuff normally doesn't work super great on her hair. This is the Shine Shampoo from Suave, and it actually works really good. I have since moved her to an Avon Kids Shampoo that's working good, so I don't have to worry about the tear free and all that. Um, it's tear free. This isn't, but it worked really good on her hair. It smells good. The Moroccan infusion shampoo smells so good. I would definitely recommend that. We also went through one of these at Kroger. It's like a dry eraser, uh, not dry eraser, magic eraser. Mr. Clean It's the off brand. I think this works great. I like to use this for like the walls if they get like dirty fingerprints and stuff like that. Uh, this works really good. Um, any kind of like the toilet or anything that has like some kind of scuff mark or dirt or whatever, these magic erasers work great. I really like them for the walls. I use them mostly for that. I also went through another one of these Avon Skin So Soft Bath Oils. So I have a friend at church that sells this. I will leave her website down below. I love the bath oil. What I do is I have really dry skin most year round. So what I do is when I get a bubble bath, I put a cap full of this in the water and it makes it makes my skin so soft, <laughs> just like the name says. And I always have this. Like whenever I get low. I always uh, ask her to order me some more. And this is just the original scent, but there's a few more. I really like the pink one. Um, and a lot of times they'll have them on really good deals and then I'll stock up. But I love the bath oil. It is awesome. Okay. I also went through a great value dishwasher pack. I don't like these as much as the Aldi and I, I like the Sam's one even better than that. But the Walmart great value brand is not bad either. It's a similar price as Aldi. We went through one of these Bissell Pet Stain, uh, Pet Stain concentrated like soap you put in your Bissell machine. We just got a brand new Bissell. Uh, we've had we've had our cleaning like carpet cleaner for like five years, and we finally it finally just had had enough. We use it all the time because we do have a pet. I also use it for lots of other spills and stuff that happen with kids and just to clean our carpets because they get gross. And we really like this. I've since started buying the, um, the Walmart version or like Target has a version too, but this one is the one that uh, is recommended with Bissell. It works great, but so do those other off brands. Lucy went through this Johnson's skin nourish shea and cocoa butter wash. This worked really well for her. I still like bathing her in baby wash. I just think it does a better job than some of the kid wash. It's a little more gentle. Um, it was okay. I didn't love, love the scent. I'd rather have the lavender one or the baby magic one. But she did use this as a body wash, and we liked it fine. 
You guys, I'm hoping this is the last time I will show you these. So I put this in here just to document. I have not put Nate in a pull-up for uh, probably a month now. So he was in, he wasn't ever in pull-ups at school, at home, at night or anything like that, but he does have autism. And sometimes when we were at church, he would get so sidetracked on what he was doing, he would have accidents. And so it was easier just to put one of these on him. He's big. So I had to buy the good night. Uh, they don't even make pull-ups big enough for him. But the good nights do work really great. And he would wear these at church and it was just easier for it except, you know, so he wouldn't have so many accidents for them to change. But we have since stopped doing that. He's doing really, really great. So I, I love the good nights, but hopefully <laughs> we're done with those. He's almost seven, but he does have autism and it's been a long, it's been a long go of potty training and we're, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So that's great. Speaking of Nate, this is the shampoo that he uses. It's the Aquaphor, it's the Aquaphor Baby Wash and Shampoo. I like it because it's tear free, so he he does not understand like keep your head up and all that, and don't let it get in your eyes. So we use the tear free. Uh, his dermatologist recommend this. This is not cheap. This is like eight or nine dollars for this little bottle, but it works really good on him. And sometimes we use it for his skin too, like because it's a body wash and shampoo. But normally I use bar soap for him. Uh, I feel like that works a little bit better. But this is dye free, fragrance free. Uh, if you have a kid or a baby with really sensitive skin, this works really good for him. Okay, let me just pull this bag up here now. We went through some. Uh, wipes. So these are both Pampers. No, this one is Pampers and this one is the Kroger brand. And the only reason I put wipes in here, we still use wipes. Like I said, we're rounding up the potty training thing, but we still have like sticky hands and faces and occasional accidents where we need wipes. So I always have wipes. Um, but what I do, how I buy them is I go to Kroger. If you have a Kroger, they usually have great sales on wipes. Normally I wait till they have their buy five, save five on the Pampers and I can get these for 99 cents or they'll have a good deal on their brand. And I think their brand is just as good as Pampers. It's really nice. So I just find whatever's on sale and I try to get the fragrance free um, when I can. This one is just unscented, but this one is fragrance free. So I think they were out of unscented the day I bought those, but I love those. They work great and I buy them on sale. I also finished up one of these um, Febreze and it's the scent, the um, Downy Unstoppables. I just had a crash with all the products here. This is the Febreze Air Downy Unstoppable Scent. This smells so good. I got these on sale. I have another one already open because I finished this out. I got them on sale at CVS for a great deal and I stocked up. I love these for Breeze Air with pet smell smells and stuff. Um, I always like my house to smell clean. I don't want people to walk in and like, oh yeah, you have a dog. You know, I want it to smell good and that stuff really works. This was in the kids room, the kids bathroom and it's the Bath and Body Works probably not going to focus <laughs> the bath and body works uh, foaming hand soap and it is in afternoon apple picking and it the notes on it are where are they they normally oh crisp apple succulent pear and cinnamon this smelled so good and it lasted a long time I think we had it in there for several months I want to say I bought it in the fall so we've had it around at least before Christmas and then into the new year. It's lasted a long time. They only use a little bit of soap at a time in there and this smells really good. I love the afternoon apple picking. I would definitely recommend it. I also went through a Bath and Body Works cool coconut surf and this is the bath gel shower gel. The notes on this are fresh coconut water, sparkling white pineapple, and frozen citrus granita. Oh my gosh, this smells like, let me see if I can still smell, like a cool coconutty day. I don't know. Beachy, coconutty. I used this as a body wash, obviously, and I loved it. I was so sad when it was over. I love Bath and Body Works since. They last a long time on your body, I feel like. David uses the Speed Stick Ocean Surf. This is the only one he likes because he it doesn't leave like any residue, and he only likes the um, like powder deodorant. He doesn't like the gel; it's like too thick. He doesn't like the way that feels. So for the powder deodorant that doesn't like leave marks, he really likes the Speed Stick Ocean Surf. 
I used one of these from the Dollar Tree, the Sore Muscle and Bath, um, Sore Muscle and Back Soak Epsom Salt. It's Epsom Salt and it has like a eucalyptus in there. I just pour a little bit in my bath and it smells so good. It helps your muscles. Um, I would definitely recommend that for a dollar. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. This is what I mop my floors with. It's the Clorox Fragrancia. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, this is in Morning Sky and it's multi-purpose cleaner. And what I do, it's like a super concentrated cleaner. So I just pour a little bit into a big sink full of water. And this is what I mop my floor with. Sometimes I pour a little bleach in there too and then mop the floor and it works really, really well. Uh, they have different directions on how to, um, you could put it in, like it's a multi-purpose. You, you dissolve four ounces, uh, which is only half a cup of this into a gallon of water and you can um, use it in your laundry and you can use it for other multi-purpose cleaning but I really like mopping the floor with it. Dollar Tree also has a Lysol one that I really like. Took me forever but I finished up a hairspray. This is probably one of my favorite hairsprays. It's the John Frieda Frizz Ease um, hairspray and the moisture barrier, 24 hour humidity resistance. My hair, when I curl it, if I don't use some sort of spray like this, it just completely falls out. Like this is it falling out after like a day, after it was really curly yesterday. So this helps hold it in. It also helps protect against the humidity. I really like that uh, hairspray. Here is another one of the all-purpose cleaners. So I showed you guys the honey, honey crisp apple, and this is the clementine. The clementine was okay. I like the honey crisp apple better, and I liked the sea salt with lime even better. Another one of my favorite, oops, sorry, you guys. Another one of my favorite method cleaners is the pink grapefruit. It's really good. Almost done. I lost the lid to this, but it's all gone. <laughs> it is the O'Keefe's Healthy Feet. And this is the best foot cream ever. You get it at Walmart. They have some that come in like a tube, but I like this one that is like in a little jar and you just take it out with your fingers. Put this on your feet with some socks every single night and you will never have cracked feet. This stuff is amazing. My feet get really cracked uh, all year round, but really tight in the summer when I'm wearing lots and lots of sandals. Um, that stuff is a must. I get it at Walmart in like the beauty section, the makeup section with all the other creams and lotions and stuff. It works really good. This is what we use to help Nate sleep. It is the liquid melatonin. And this is amazing. We started using melatonin on Nate a little over a year ago, actually about a year and a half ago. And it comes with this little dropper, so it's liquid. He doesn't like the gummies. He doesn't take pills. So we really needed a liquid. This has worked great for us. He, this is only one milligram pour. <laughs> Hi, you can't talk. Four droppers is one milligram, and he only takes one and a half droppers. So he doesn't take very much of it, but I promise you, it is a huge difference. If we ever don't give him that before he goes to sleep, he takes forever to go to sleep. We give this to him about 30 minutes before bed, and he is out at bedtime. It works great. I also used up this e.l.f. concealer, and this one is in sheer. I don't know. Uh, it's just like the fairest concealer they have. I like the concealers that come with a little wand. I feel like that's easier to get right up in the creases and everything. I do need concealer for my eyes because, you know, mom life. Um, I don't love this one, though. It was okay. It wasn't a great match for me. It's a little bit yellowy. My favorite concealer, I probably will never buy another one, is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. I love that concealer. It's amazing. Last but not least, here is the soap we have started using on Nate. We used to use a very expensive, hard to find <laughs> soap, and we have switched to the Dove Sensitive Skin. This is working amazing on him. I really notice how soft his skin is after we bathe him, um, and I really, really like it. So much cheaper. It's working well. The Dove Sensitive Skin. Dove Sensitive Skin Beauty Bar, I would definitely, definitely recommend. Okay, that is everything. <laughs> I feel like I've talked a million miles an hour. Let me know some of your favorite products. If you have used any of these things, or maybe you think you know something that I would like even better, definitely let me know. I love trying out new things. I really appreciate you guys watching today. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new, and we will see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.